Hey, Cancer. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of July. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. Please only take a what resonates with you. Do not force it to fit your situation. Alrighty, Cancer. So let's hop in. Let it be great. It is Cancer season. So before we hop in, I just want to say happy birthday, Cancer. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday season. Definitely send you guys lots of birthday love. Alrighty. So let's see. Let's hop in, Cancer, um, and see what's coming in for you guys. See what's coming in for Cancer. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe, hit that bell so that you guys are notified when I do content. And if you guys would love to book a phone reading, um, like a personal reading or a phone reading, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check the description box below. All right, Cancer. So let's see what's coming in for you guys in the Cancer. Cancer, let's see. I will also um, be doing an extended reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. All right, let's see what's coming in for Cancer. Cancer in love, first half of July. Let's see what's coming in for Cancer in love, first half of July, Cancer. All right, Cancer. So when it comes to the heart of the matter, we have the chariot. That's your energy, Cancer. Wow, and the look, King of Cups. So you guys are just showing up strong in your reading already. The chariot, that's Cancer energy, all right? So that is the heart of the matter. Um, let's see, the person that you're dealing with and their current energy towards you. We have the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Um, the person you're dealing with and the, where their mind is at, let's see. We have the five of pentacles. How do they currently feel about you? We have the strength card. What do they want from you, Cancer? We have the Knight of Wands. What is yet to unfold? We have the High Priestess. And the potential outcome, Cancer, is Temperance, all righty? So you guys have a lot of major, all right? So we have Sagittarius, we have Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, and then Knight of Wands is usually Sagittarius, all righty? At the bottom, we do have the King of Cups, and that's you, Cancer, all right? There can be another Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio that you guys are dealing with, okay, um, with the King of Cups coming up. Um, but this is someone that is, like, very much in love, King of Cups, someone in touch with their emotions and feelings, a cup is full, okay? So maybe you have a lot of feelings for someone with the King of Cups coming up at the bottom of the deck, overall energy, or someone has a lot of feelings for you, okay? Um, just looking at the spread, Cancer, it looks pretty good so far. Um, actually looks good um, so far, but the chariot, looking at the high priestess, this is someone kind of moving forward, though, and following and trusting their intuition, okay? Or this is a spiritual connection that you want to move forward for some of you guys. The Knight of Wands has his back on the chariot and the high priestess, though. So when I ask what they, what do they want from you, the Knight of Wands can be someone that's kind of in and out, even though the Knight of Wands is not in reverse. But this is someone that is like when you guys are around each other, there's a lot of chemistry, passion, um... It's like the more you're around them, you're liking them more. They're liking you more. It's something like that. But it's like, I feel like you want more than that cancer. They want more than that. Someone wants more than what the other person is offering or giving. Because we have the five of pentacles and this is where their mind is at. So someone is kind of feeling unloved by you. Or they're kind of feeling rejected by you. Or this can be you. Remember, the reading can be interchangeable. Okay? Lovers reverse trust issues. Okay? For some of you guys. All right? This can be an open relationship, third party for others. With the lovers in reverse, or someone's going through like a breakup right now, or a separation. Um, we do have the strength card here. All right, this is how they feel about you. So there's a lot of love and compassion with the strength card. Or they have like there's a very strong connection here. Okay, um, and I feel like if this is how they feel about you, if this is not about the connection, then it's like the sex is really great. Or they can't seem to control their self there's a lot of temptation okay um and then we have temperance for the potential outcome sagittarius energy so that can be soulmate energy for some of you guys with temperance here um this is also reconciliation with temperance 
All right. So you may decide to kind of move on from this, like I said, um, and they maybe wanted to come back around and like kind of reconcile your, the differences. But let's see what we got, Cancer. Alrighty. So let's see. We have the chariot coming out. This is the heart of the matter, and this is you. So like I said, the chariot is like moving on, like moving forward, moving away from a situation. All right. Um, with the chariot here. So let's see what this is all about. That's also your energy, Cancer. So let's see. Messages for Cancer, first half of July. Let's see why the chariot is here. What's the chariot for Cancer? We have the four of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like Cancer is like you're kind of moving on, but holding on at the same time. Four of pentacles is there. I feel like you're not sure if this is something that you should hold on to. Um, but it's like in the meantime, or just like right now, I feel like you're kind of moving away from this situation. But part of you is like still holding on to the situation. Okay. So it's like you're moving on and holding on at the same time. Like, you know how we, you know, break it with someone in relationships, but in the back of your mind, it's like you're still holding on. You maybe still want this. That's what I feel like is the heart of the matter right now. Okay. Um, I also feel like you're just kind of pulling back, kind of holding back. You're not really open. You're not really telling this person how you feel. Or you may be holding back your feelings. Um, but we're going to see what this is about. Okay. So let's see. We have the lovers coming up in reverse. And this is their current energy towards you. So this could be a breakup, separation. Maybe there were some trust issues. There could be a third party for some of you guys. Um, with the lovers coming up in reverse, this could be a Gemini that you're talking to or dealing with. So let's see why the lovers is coming up in reverse for you guys. Let's see. We have the world card. Okay. So yeah. So someone put an ending to this. All right. The world card is there. Something ended. This is something ending. Something wrapping up. For some of you guys, someone needs to end a situation in order for you guys to move forward. And maybe that's how you're moving forward for right now, Cancer. Okay? Um, until something has wrapped itself up or something has ended with the world card being there. Now, going into this Five of Pentacles here, towards Virgo Capricorn energy, this is where their mind is at. So, like, someone, like I said, someone is kind of feeling rejected. Someone is kind of feeling unloved by you. Um, the five of pentacles is a breakup. So I feel like there was a breakup cancer, whether you broke up with someone or whether they're going through a breakup or going through a divorce or a separation, but where their mind is at, their mind is focused on a breakup. Their mind is focused on not feeling loved or like some type of breakup or they're having a hard time getting through a situation with this five of pentacles. So let's see what this is about. Why is the five of pentacles here? What's the five of pentacles? We have the Six of Pentacles reverse. okay? So, yes. Um, six of Pentacles reverse is a one-sided situation. It's something that's not an equal give and take, okay? Um, and what I'm getting are feeling cancer where their mind is that, like I said, someone's focused on a breakup and ending a separation. And they're not so much focused on this situation. And I feel like that's how you're kind of moving on and moving forward. Um... Going to the Six of Pentacles reverse. What about the Six of Pentacles reverse? For cancer. Going to the Six of Pentacles reverse. The Nine of Wands. So, yes, this person could kind of be guarded, kind of blocking you out. They're going through something in a relationship. This person may feel fatigued, you know, drained, tired, wore out. Something is really stressing them out and it's affecting how you guys are moving forward or is this affecting you guys' relationship in general, okay? Um, if you broke things off with them, cancer or broke up with them, they're having a hard time getting over that. Or they're having a hard time getting over the breakup. Like they're going through, like the, like the breakup has been bothering them a lot. Alrighty, so let's see if we have the strength card here. That's Leo energy, and this is how they feel about you. Okay, so like I said, maybe there's a lot of temptation. The strength card is here. Um, this is love and compassion, though. So let's see. I mean, because this is how they feel about you, Cancer. So let's see why the strength card is here. We have the two of pentacles. All right. Yeah, someone is definitely juggling. So I feel like cancer, someone loves you. There is love, compassion, feelings. Um, there can be, you know, great sex between the two of you guys. But someone is definitely juggling, alrighty? Um, I also 
also feel like someone's going through a breakup or separation too. Because I'm seeing this two different ways. Someone's already in a relationship and there's a third party. And... I just feel like whatever's going on in that other situation, whether that's yours or theirs, is just not a good situation. And you may want this person, I'm going to be with this person, but like your mind is focused on your breakup and everything you're going through, or their mind is like focused on that. And like I said, it's affecting how you guys are going to move forward, if you're going to move forward. But we do have the two of pentacles here with this strength card, and that is someone juggling. Someone could be in love with two people, okay? Um, but then like I said, we see a breakup here. We see... Uh, I see a breakup or someone like just upset uh, about a relationship. But let's see. Why is the two of pentacles here? Going to the two of pentacles. Why are the two of pentacles here? With this strength card. Let's see. The higher font. Yeah, see. Someone is definitely in another relationship. And I feel like with the higher font here, it's like, because the higher font, if this is not a marriage or a relationship they're in, then the higher font is telling me that you're looking for a commitment. Okay, like you want a commitment, you want marriage, you want something long term. But this person could be playing games and you're tired of them playing games and juggling and being back and forth and undecided up and down about you guys. And it could be due to like their ex or someone holding on or putting them through something, you know. So it's just kind of making it bad for you guys and how you guys are going to move forward. Alrighty, so we have the Knight of Wands and this is what they want from you. So it's like they want you to take action or they want you to come towards them. Alrighty, with this Knight of Wands here. Uh, let's see how the Knight of Wands is here for Cancer. Why is the Knight of Wands here for what they want from you? See, the stars are reverse. Okay? So, stars are reverse. Aquarius energy. I feel like you're giving up on this, Cancer. This is you kind of giving up. You're just like, I like you, but, you know, like, I'm just, I'm giving up on this. So, maybe that's what you're telling them. Like, you're going towards them and you're like, I'm giving up on us. I'm giving up on this situation. Someone's thinking negative. Someone feels like this is not going to happen. Someone may feel like this is not going to continue to move forward. So let's see. Clarify the star in reverse. What's the star in reverse? You have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see what they want from you. They, they, they still want to talk to you. They may also come towards you with an apology. I feel like this person wants you to stop thinking negative about the situation. Cause someone has this, someone is giving up on this. Someone is just someone is just like, I can't do it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Alright. Um, let's see. You have the high priestess here. And this is what is um yet to unfold between you guys. So like I said, the high priestess, I feel like you're just there's a connection here with the high priestess. But I also feel like with the chariot, like I said, looking at the high priestess, there's that's you like following and trusting your intuition. And like I said, I feel like right now you just like the best thing to do is to move on or move forward or move away from this situation. Let's see how the high priestess is here. We have the fool. Yeah, some of you guys are. You're going to move on, move forward. This is you starting new. Like you're just, you want a new beginning with this person or you want to be with this person, but it's just not happening. So you're just going to continue to move forward with this fool here. Okay, let's see how the fool is here. Going to the fool. Could be in um, Aries or an Aquarius that you guys are dealing with with the fool card. Some of you guys are actually going towards new love or new love is actually coming in because you're going to give up on the situation. And it's like as soon as you do or walk away, Knight of Cups is going to be love too. So let's see how the Fool is coming up. Why is the Fool here with the High Priestess? The Knight of Wands. So it's telling me what is yet to unfold is that for some of you guys, you're going to give this person a chance. Okay? Um, because the Knight of Wands is someone coming towards you. This is a new beginning, taking that leap. This same person coming towards you, the same person that wasn't putting in, that wasn't investing with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, someone that wasn't putting forth effort. Um, but again, it's the Knight of Wands energy, okay? So I just kind of feel like Cancer, just looking at the spread, looking at these nights, there's love, feelings, passion, chemistry, but... Trust your intuition because even though there's going to be a new beginning or even though this person wants to start new or even though this person wants to start over, I just still see the Knight of Wands energy, okay? Um, and the Knight of Wands can be kind of, eh, you know, um, it could be like an in and out energy, okay? So we have temperance for the potential outcome, Sagittarius energy. So I do see a reconciliation. I see you guys reconciling your differences um, with temperance. Um, 
this person may also need or want more time or want you to kind of be patient with them. But let's see why temperance is here. Going to temperance. We have the empress here. So the empress with temperance is someone understanding. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's supportive. Okay. So I feel like the potential outcome, I feel like this person, they, and I mean, they may need you. They may need your love, your support. They want to know how you feel. Our cancer, this is you being loving and nurturing and understanding to their situation. And you're willing to reconcile with them and work this out. Let's see why the empress is here. You can also be the wife or you have children with this person. You gotta reconcile your differences. Let's have the Empress is here. That Taurus Libra energy. We have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you want to continue to move this forward. And I feel like someone is you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, you are gonna work this out. Okay. Um, or try to work this out. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, let's go into this King of Cups in overall energy. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what this is about. Cancer. Let's see. King of Cups. Why is this overall energy for Cancer? King of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have a Magician. All right. So, yeah, this looks really good. Eight of Cups. So, I'm walking away. I feel like someone has told you, Cancer, that they needed to walk away. Or maybe you told someone that you needed to walk away to figure things out. Um, to release some type of emotional baggage you were holding on to. Maybe someone needed to find themselves with the Eight of Cups um, so that they can show up and be better and different in this relationship with the Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, Page of Wands, discovering something new. Um, but coming back to the relationship in a different type of energy, more passionate about moving forward, more passionate about the relationship. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician and the King of Cups, someone is in love with someone and someone's trying to manifest a family, a marriage, a commitment or something like that. Okay, is what I'm getting. So I, this part right here, where their mind is at, like I said, either someone's kind of still stuck on their ex and needing to get over that, or someone went through a lot in a past relationship, or someone just wasn't giving in, and like giving in to this relationship, someone was taking, okay, and not giving to the relationship, six of pentacles, just taking, 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 and maybe you just weren't getting anything out of it, and you didn't, you weren't fulfilled in this situation, all right, and maybe you were kind of blocked and guarded, it can be either way, cancer, but um, but then, like I said, I'm seeing it two different ways because I see where someone was already in a relationship, okay, and they were going through something. They were struggling to come out of a relationship or something like that. But it looks like there's going to be a new beginning and you guys are going to move forward. Cause, and I also see that this is something that you want, okay? So let's um, let's see what we got. Let's see what the overall energy is in love um, for cancer, first half of July for cancer. All right, let's see what we got for cancer. What is the overall energy for cancer? What is the overall energy for cancer? First half of July. So we have children. All right. We saw the Empress. Remember I told you um, you can be the wife. All right. Um, or you guys can have children together. At the bottom, you have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Okay. So maybe someone's coming in and expressing their love and telling how they feel. Maybe someone wants their family back. Maybe someone wants to commit and have a family settle down children and a new addition to the family to the pentacles magician someone's working really hard to make this happen with the magician okay but they also know that they need to come in showing and expressing that love too with that king of cups so it says your love life is being affected by children so maybe you guys have children together and you're going to try to work it out maybe you guys have a child together and someone just can't seem to move on or move forward um and they really want to work things out with you or you really want to work things out with them um children could be kind of stopping and blocking your love life in a way where like you someone could have felt bad to leave a relationship or in a relationship because you guys do have children or with the children's cards someone was very just childish and immature okay and how they handled the situation um and that's why that eight of cups could have been there because someone needed to grow up like someone needed to emotionally mature all right so let's see what we got for cancer we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so i feel like someone um Someone was really thinking negative. Remember, we have the star reverse, okay? And so someone needed to dissolve, to dissolve all of that. Someone needed to change the way they were thinking about this relationship um, if they wanted it to work out. Let's pull one more message for cancer. First half of July for cancer.
All right, so we have clock. What did I tell you guys? I told you someone wants you to be patient with them. Someone needs some more time. So we have clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So someone needed some more time. Someone wanted you to be patient with them. But it says in time. So I feel like over time, I feel like this is something you guys been dealing with for a while. It's like someone, it took someone a while to change or make some type of changes. And they're doing that. Okay. So I kind of feel like someone could have been immature in the past. Or like I said, this situation is coming together, but it was just going to take some time. And it took a long time. It took a while for it to happen, but it's about to happen. So that's what I got for you, Cancer, um, for the first half of July. Um, like I said, I will be extending the reading. I will pin the link in the comments. Alrighty. I love you all. Again, happy birthday, Cancer. And I will see you guys in the next reading. All right. Bye, loves.